Hello, Edgy1138 here, and I am responding finally to a tag video from Retro Rewinder. He tagged me with three and a half questions about a month ago, and my intention was to put it into a pickup video because my pickup videos get the most views and that would send the most traffic his way. But then I never got around to doing a pickup video. I thought, you know, no big deal. I'll post it a few weeks later, and then by the time the tag video has lost momentum, I'll put my video out and then it'll pick up momentum all over again. At least that was my thinking. Little did I know that the whole time this video has been circulating around YouTube and unfortunately somewhere it lost Retro Rewinder's name and it ended up today, or at least I watched it today, just a little bit ago, on Tony Electric Adventures channel. He tagged me again. So I've been tagged by the same video I was tagged a month ago in and never did the response. So I figured I'm going to stop what I'm working on and I'm going to do this tag video right now because if I don't, I'll never remember. All right, now, what did he tag me with? Like I said, it's about three and a half questions. One's a two-parter. First question is video game related. He wants to know, what is one item in your collection that you would like to see complete? And for me, generally, it's going to be hardware-related items. I'd like to see my Atari Heavy Sixer completed. I would like to see my Sega CDX and my uh, Laser Active with the Genesis add-on. Uh, I'd like to see that complete, but those are going to be pretty expensive to complete. And he wanted to know a game. Well, the game also will be pretty expensive to complete, and that is Musha. I picked this up loose, got a really good price on it, and I printed up my own cover, slipped it inside a Genesis case, and said, good enough, because for $35 loose, I was pretty happy at the time. They were going for around 100 loose, and to get it complete, I think it was close to 200 or more. So, I'd like to see this complete someday, but that's probably not going to happen. All right, question number two. What is your favorite chip? Now, he opened this up to include all kinds of chips, corn chips, potato chips, or crisps, as you might refer to them in other parts of the world. I'm more of a pretzel guy, really, because they don't make your fingers greasy. But if I was going to pick one potato chip, I would probably pick Golden Crisp, although I do really like the Chili Cheese Fritos, as Retro Rewinder does. These are made in my hometown, uh, Maslin, Ohio. There you go. Right there, Maslin, Ohio. And I didn't know that when I first started eating them. I was started eating them, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, and then I drove by the place that makes them one day, and I thought, huh, I wonder if those originated here. Sure enough, as far as I'm aware, they did. And the third and final question is the two-parter. First part of that question is, what was your favorite vacation? And this is a pretty tough one. I would probably, I would like to choose a family vacation. Uh, and if I were going to choose a family vacation, it would be a trip that my wife and kids and I went on a few years back where we went to a rustic log cabin in the middle of the woods in the hills of Southern Ohio. There was nobody else around. It was peaceful and quiet and wonderful. And I absolutely loved it. And I've been back to that cabin a couple of times once with the kids again and then once with just my wife. Wonderful place to go. But I'm going to have to go with Disney World. Now, I know what you're saying. Everybody goes to Disney World. But this was my honeymoon. Now, I don't want you to think that that's the kind of thing that I planned. My plans for the honeymoon were to go to Hawaii. I had planned it all out, gotten everything priced. I was saving money towards that. And then my wife dropped the bomb on me that she'd really like to take me to Disney World. So I had to put the brakes on reworked the trip and we ended up going to Disney World. It cost the same amount of money to go to Disney World as it would have to go to Hawaii. Anyway, we stayed in the Wilderness Resort Hotel. It was actually surprisingly nice. Uh, the hotel was nice. The experience there was nice. It was our first vacation together as a married couple, obviously, as most honeymoons are. And, you know, as much as I I really didn't want to go to Disney World for a honeymoon. It was actually wonderful. If you go there and try and experience it as an adult, uh, you'll find that there's actually a lot of stuff there to enjoy. So that would actually be my favorite vacation so far. As far as where I would like to go on vacation, it would probably be someplace exotic. It might be Hawaii. There are a lot of places in the United States I'd like to visit someday. And most of the places outside of the United States I'd like to visit for obvious reasons, are English-speaking nations. I, being stupid American, only speak English, and some of you may think not so well, but uh, if I'm gonna go somewhere, I don't want there to be a communication issue. There are lots of places I'd like to go that do not speak English, but it's just, it's such a, a barrier, I don't know that I would do that. Anyway, Australia, uh, the United Kingdom, uh, many other places, so 
Lots of places I'd like to visit. It would probably have to be an English-speaking country, though. So, thank you very much. Please, anybody is welcome to do a response to this, but if you do, make sure you reference the original video by Retro Rewinder. And the three folks that I'm going to tag are Michael B. the Game Genie, the Thrift Dwellers, both Nate and Lester, if that's possible. I know you guys work different schedules and it can be difficult to get together. And OK Chief, and again, for the same reasons with the Thrift Dwellers, if it's not possible for you to get Will in the video, I understand. Although, if the two of you could do it together, I'm kind of curious to find out what Will's answers are as well. And I think of you guys as pretty much one channel. So, that, oh, you know what? One more person. I normally only do three for this sort of thing, but I'm going to tag my little brother, Jim. He has a channel here on YouTube called Jim's Mind, so I'd like to hear his answers as well. All right, I think I said thank you for watching, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you go check out Retro Rewinder's original video. The link will be in the description. And if you do a response, please reference that. God, six minutes. See you later.